very good with self-defense, and way, that way. will be a little snake. Come this way, this, this, this way. way. There you go. There you All go. All right. So let's talk about that. So we've talked a lot about self-defense, but let's say maybe at some point somebody gets a little bit too close to you, you were a little off guard with your self-defense, and all of a sudden someone grabs you by the hand. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Now the first thing I wanna <laughs> tell you is you might feel like you wanna pull back. And that is not a good thing because if he lets go, <gasps> boom, I, I, I could fall to the ground. Whoa. And the ground is not a place where I wanna be. Ground is not your friend. Ground is not our friend. So if he gets too close to me and he grabs my hand, oh no. I want to step in and I make a little snake with my hand and that's pointing up to the sky and then I go under and over just like that. So let's go on the other side here just so you can see it works on both sides. I was not paying attention all of a sudden somebody grabs me oh no I come in I make that little snake I'm just gonna pop it above here so you can see it and I go under and over and she's couple turning of, those hips yes couple of things here for one thing as mr. Bog said when I go under I use my hips to turn them over because power comes from the hips the, the hips, hips. We always tell our ladies when we teach uh, the women self-defense that it's love our hips day because our hips can be our friend. The other thing that I want to point out on this technique is I don't raise my arms way above here because I'm not very strong that way. Mr. Fry, let's you know, challenge me here okay. and I'm going to try to raise my arm and I just can't do it because he is too strong. It doesn't take much to keep her Well, you just have to press it. Right? So that's why I go under just like a snake hugs a branch and keeps it as close as I can to the arm. And I use that hip power to get out and he cannot hold me that you way. you switch sides one more time? Yes, sir. Grab the same arm. Oh, this one? Yeah. Oh, okay. yes, there we go. So again, I step in, make my little snake, and I go under and over, just like that. So let's practice this in the air with our air partner. Or if you have a friend at home or a neighbor. That's right. Or mommy sure, sitting there. Make sure you wash your hands first. Hmm. Uh, wear gloves if you need to. Okay. But with your family members, I'm sure you're all you've all been together for a long time. So this is something you can practice with your brother or your sister safely with okay. your mom or your dad. So you have that hand. Logan out. up off the ground. Everybody stand up. Put your hand out. Uh -oh. Come on, Michael, everybody up. Oh no, we've just been grabbed. What are we gonna do? We're going to step in just a little bit. Come on, Nathan, work it with me. We're going to make that little snake head. We're going to go under and over, just like that. All right, one more time. I need to see everybody up. Okay, now we, that hand is grabbed. Oh, no, what are we going to do? We're not going to pull away. We're going to step in. We're going to make the snake head. We're going to go under and over using the power of our hips. Back away. Yes, good, good thought there, Mr. Fry. So the other thing that goes really well with this little snake is using our voice. Our voice is our friend. So if once we escape, there's some things we can say. What was the one you said? Stop! Stop! And another one is, call 911. Call 911. You're not my mom. You're not my dad. Back off. Back off. Back off. Good job. <laughs> Let's try that all together. You pick whatever you want to say. If we can all say back off, or if you want to say stop or call 911, the choice is yours. So we're, we're up. All of a sudden, our hand got grabbed. We step in. We make our little snake, we do our circle, use our hips, okay. 
Hands go right back up. We back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. You're not my mom. Use your step and slide that we just practiced. That's right. Woo! Yes. Can we do it one more time? I want to hear from everybody. You ready? Okay. Everybody up? Call 911. Good job. Okay. Thank you, Corbin. Our hand just got grabbed. We step in. We make our little snake. We go under and over with our hips. Hands go back up. Step in and slide. Back up. Back up. Call 911. Call 911. You're not my dad. You're not my dad. I am not your dad. Thank you. Okay, come listen. Come listen. All right, I'm trying to mute them all. Mate, the only thing I would add to, eyes on who? Let me pick on Mr. John. Thank you, Miss Betty. Yes, sir. Look, he grabs me. He might be really strong. Again, in our women's self-defense class, we teach him to stomp on their foot. <clears throat> Maybe I have to give him a palm strike. Yes, if he's really, really strong, it's going to be hard for me to get away. Yeah, la la lee, kick him in the knee. Yes, sir. Bam! Oh, and then I do my self defense to get away. Yes, sir. Distraction. So, beginning, you know, we just teach you to do the little things. As you get a little bit more advanced, you might have to stomp on their foot, palm strike, oh, arm bar, throw him on the ground, kick him again. Yes, sir. Thanks for making me look good. <laughs> Say thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Cowboy Sensei. Ugh. Yes. So those are so all those things that Mr. Mr. Boggs did before we escaped are called distraction techniques. And so because it may not work the first time, he's a very strong guy. So again, stomping, palm striking, knee striking, and then using our little snake and using our hands, that self-defense stance, stepping and sliding and using our voice. Back off! Call 911! All those techniques we put together, and it's something that you can train at at home. Does anybody know why it's called a distraction technique? I have them muted, so. No. Okay, no? Except him. Okay, <laughs> so if I'm the big bad meanie, which I'm in, but in this case, I'm pretending to be the big bad meanie, my whole focus is going to be on her and her wrist, right? By her stomping on my foot. Ow! How <laughs> that hurt? Or kneeing me. Oh! Or palm striking. Bam! That's gonna change my focus from her wrist to wherever she hit me. So my grip will probably loosen a little bit, and that makes her technique even more effective. Okay? So the distraction technique is designed to change the attacker's focus. Okay? John. Thank you, Mr. John. Thank you, Ms. Betty. Feet together. Bob. Bob.